can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Hey guys, welcome back to the Welcome back to, to another, another video, video. <laughs> Today we're actually going to be working on Sears' new car I mean, he's had it for how long now? Like a week. A week? Yeah. And we have a few things that's still wrong with it. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the coolant leak from the last video, but it was all over the place. It's still leaking just a little bit, not nothing too crazy. Um, but basically, this whole tank needs to get replaced. It looks like some guy replaced it from like pick and pull. It has like a tag there. These guys look like they replaced my pick and pull. So this, all this stuff could be just broken. So I don't really know what's going on with all this stuff. Charge pipe blow off of is aftermarket. There's a whole bunch of janky stuff in here that I feel like we should be replacing. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the, the expansion tank. I mean, the coolant tank. We're gonna go ahead and add some mods. Cool little mods to the, uh, the interior. It's actually detailed the interior with John. Uh, which I think it looks pretty good now. It looks minty, looks minty, looks really good. So we're gonna add a couple mods in the interior, make it look a little better. It smells really good, damn. <laughs> oh, we might be adding a, the, a, finally a logo to the hood, maybe even the whole car. And then also we're gonna be doing just the detail on the exterior. Jonathan's gonna go to meet us here in a little bit. He's at church right now. So when he gets back from church, he's gonna help us detail the car. Basically, we're gonna try to fix all the leaks for the most part. And at the same time, make this thing look perfect, add a few mods and just enjoy the car. Just jump right into it. Uh Huh, this is the wrong one? No way. Is that the link I sent you? This is the one you sent me. I sent you that link? Yeah. Alright guys, so your boy messed up. I sent Sierra a link to get an expansion tank and I got I think the one for the convertible. So Are you too? <laughs> While we're waiting for the expansion tank, we do have a few mods. So I have a BMW M push button. I mean, this is pretty much a red push button start, which is really nice. And we also have the M button, which is, I, I love these guys. So at least it makes you feel like you have an M car. It's a 335, so yeah, it's, it's well deserved. It's well deserved. So let's go ahead and install this, go ahead and install that. Should be, this is really easy. This should be a little bit more time consuming, but they both should look really sick once they're installed. All right, guys, so here's the before. And that is the new push button, guys. So yeah, pretty much got that installed. We pretty much peeled off all that stupid coating that was on the ring. Now the ring's off, the new push button's in there. So now, we need something else to match it. We need the M button. No one needs a CD button. We need an M button, right? Exactly. Let's go, let's go ahead. So three, two, one. So just like that, guys, the M button is installed. It's actually fairly easy. You don't have to move the airbag, nothing too crazy. So before we actually do the oil change in the coolant tank and all that stuff, I think we should do mods before maintenance, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we need to put a logo on here. Your mom's been killing us about that, right? Exactly. Yeah, his mom, every time she saw the hood, she's like, where is the logo? This is a Beamer, you need to embrace it. So let's go ahead and just put any sticker on there. We're good to go. So I see you're moving all the stickers, all the janky stickers. Jonathan's actually gonna go ahead and Pay off all the boogers. I don't want to scratch this, but honestly, it really doesn't matter what's underneath. Yeah, it doesn't it matter. It doesn't. As long as you can uh, pretty much get all that shit that's on there. We're trying to put at least the logo on there. Uh, for the center caps, let us know, guys. Should we have the OEM ones or should we keep these guys on there? Maybe put a sticker or just keep it like this. Let us know, guys, down in the comments. But, uh, All right, guys. So Sears almost done taking off this, sh this this disgusting decal. Probably been in there for like 20 years, right? Right. Uh, it says Eisenman. So you know, John. I didn't know what Eisenman is, but apparently it could be an exhaust. John took a look at it. We're not really too sure. We'll do a diagnostic and stuff. Sure. But it has Eisenman on there. Where? Where does it say Eisenman on? Okay. There's like underneath the exhaust. There's like a plate. Metal plate. Yeah. And on it, it says Eisenman. And um, Eisenman bro, it is. Bro, it has an Eisenman exhaust. Can you guys see that? Those are expensive. This, yeah, it was like two grand, right? I think so. Bro, guys, what the heck? He doesn't understand what is what is actually going on around here. An exhaust, like a race, like a real race exhaust. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> that's hype. <laughs> it's fine. Anywho, that's insane, guys. So anyway, so you guys already know. He got wheels. He got a $2,000 exhaust. He got side sort extensions. He's got a carbon hood, lip spoiler, roof's already wrapped, interior's pretty much all complete. It's insane. Like, this car is also full package. End of the day, if this car is blown turbos, we just upgrade it. It's honestly worth it. It's kind of crazy. One of you guys also said down below that this X drive, you can have an X drive to lead to where it's just rear wheel drive. So this is pretty much Honestly, a pretty dope platform to work off of. We're gonna try to restore this as much as possible and then make it into a beast. And you guys are probably gonna be seeing this at Beamer Fest, right? Yes, no, maybe so? Just say yes. You're gonna just right. say yeah, just go. Yeah, just okay, so. This, yeah, he's yes. gonna he's gonna come with this. So hopefully we can get everything fixed on this so you guys will see it at Beamer Fest. I'm definitely bringing the 435. I might be bringing down the M3 as well. I might tell my brother to drive it down there. We'll see, let us know down in the comments. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just, again, fix everything, de-rice it, and do some maintenance. There's so many, dude. 
Jonathan's filming a DIY. Are you doing a DIY? What are you doing? It's not really a DIY. It's just Time lapse of the cleaning? Yeah, it's like a transformation video. That's what's up. So he's just pretty much cleaning up the interior, and then you're also gonna be doing the exterior, right? Yeah. So that should be really sick. Obviously, if you guys know we haven't even wa have you even washed her yet? Not yet. I haven't even washed her, so the roof's like super dirty. The 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 the, the hood will probably try to do some things to remove all this gunky stuff, and for the most part, just clean her up. She hasn't been cleaned. So as for the center emblem, we'll go ahead and install it after we actually wash the car. That has a lot of goo gone, so he's gonna have to get all that pretty much off the car. So. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna go into straight time lapse mode. Got a whole bunch of soap. Car's looking already a whole lot better. I'll show you guys once it's actually fully dried up. Meantime, I think I might actually wash my car while the hose out and everything, you know? Like, why not? Let's just get my car out here. I just washed mine. I went ahead and soaked it, washed it. I'm just gonna go ahead and, ah, damn. Just have to go ahead and dry it real quick. Sears is pretty much dried up and everything. He did find one sticker. So he's trying to fix that situation right now. He's gonna rewash that. And then the rest of the car is pretty damn clean. Um, obviously this whole hood needs to be polished. And then after that, I mean, the hood's gonna look absolutely insane. Um, but finally, finally, the car is looking super clean. Paint's in great shape. Like, damn, that's hella good. Yeah, the amount of mods he got on this car is basically what he paid for for the whole car, which is insane. So it's a 2009 clean title uh 100 and how many miles 94 k miles 94k that's insane so yeah guys we have so much potential so much things that are gonna happen on this car on this channel but meantime uh let me go ahead and dry my car for right? i got a whole bunch of water stains finally got my car fully dried up we got sear dried up we got sear's car dried up <laughs> and then uh <laughs> then we got jonathan's car just chilling like a villain um just dried up like literally just just like desert just abandoned just tap yeah so we finally have the emblem on there so now i think the rest of the things we got to do today is an oil, change. oil change so unfortunately the coolant tank is not the same one we ordered we ordered the wrong one it's whatever he's gonna have to drive back with the cracked oil cool tank i mean cooling tank it is what it is anyway let's do the oil change so i'm jack her up do the oil change hopefully get no oil on my car but uh let's just do it <laughs> Don't record me. <laughs> you good? Uh, nah, I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> he's basically just basically, he, he, I'm, we're teaching him how to do his own oil change. Uh, yeah, so he's pretty much already loosened the filter and all that good stuff. He's just, he's just draining the oil and then we're gonna go ahead and put new fluid. We got 330i engine, <laughs> engine cover. Yep. That is uh, really, really weird. What happened? You good? And we are here at a library. Yep. So I finally found myself a little corner to conclude the video. So what's up guys? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it kind of had like an abrupt ending. I'm actually on campus right now studying for an exam. It's life, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the next video, we're gonna hopefully start taking apart the M3 and start doing some major mods to it. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. I'm still trying to figure out what I should be doing with the M3, so I need some ideas, guys. Should I like go crazy on it? Should I just try to restore it? Should I just modify it a little bit? What should I do exactly? What kind of builds would you guys like to see on the channel? Anywho, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, I know that's kind of like quiet, but I'm in a library, so. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.